Did you know that the manufacturing industry is brimming with startups? Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're going to talk to some of the startups here at Hanover Messe, who are going to use the 3D experience platform. So, I'm going to meet up with Tim from Suits, Sarah from Kevin Robots, and Martin from Kraftblock. So, follow me. Can you pitch Suits in a few words? Our vision is to fully automate clothing production. And to do that, we have built a software with which we can make the handling of textiles or other limp materials easy for robots. Kevin is our laboratory robot. So we created a mobile robot that is going to work in a laboratory. So he's transporting plates in this format. It's a standard format for laboratories worldwide. And he's transporting them just from place one to B. Craftblock is a multifunctional high temperature energy storage system. Simple to explain, we store thermal energy in form of heat and release it to different applications, but that at very high temperatures. Who created the company and when did you actually launch it? I started the company by myself together with my co-founder Susan. The first thought came in 2008. I saw a TV report about a thermal energy storage, but only up to 500 degrees C. And as I was working in ceramics, I thought, okay, that's warm up temperature and not high temperature. What could we do to go, to go to the higher ones? I have two other guys who helped me. This is uh, my, my co-founders, Till and Alec. We actually founded the company in 2019 and we have grown ever since. So currently, I think we're 23 people. The idea of Kevin came up in our uh, department. So I'm a researcher at Fraunhofer Institute in Stuttgart. And one of my colleagues, he's also a researcher in the same department. So we're thinking a lot about how labs can be automated. What yeah. is possible? How can the future lab look like? And then we came up with the idea of a flexible platform with an arm on top of it, so you can see it here. And so we have spent the last five years creating this robot. So we're looking forward to spinning the company up. How do you actually use um, the technology like virtual twins? So we work with uh, lots of programmers and engineers, and obviously everyone wants to try things out right away. Yeah. But virtual twins are really great just to try out things virtually without ever actually having to build it. It saves a lot of cost and, and you can simulate robot movements and material behavior really well already now. Virtual twins are getting more and more interesting for us. Um, means we have to standardize the system to use it even better as it is today. More, and at the moment there are a lot of different projects, so okay. the storage is the same, but the infrastructure is very different. So it's complex to do it, but for the storage itself, we started to develop this twin and use it in different directions. One of it is to optimize the storage itself, to, to create different uh, flows through the storage. On the other hand, also to present the system to the customer, to say, look at this, this is how it, how it works, how it acts, that's the efficiency. That's how you can use it, and it's really great. Just another advice for people who have great ideas, mm -hmm. but are a bit hesitating to start their own companies and just to move forward. Any words, any advice from you? I think if you have a good idea and some people believe in it, I think that's probably very important. The idea is always the core of it, but you have to look at the market. Will there be a need for your idea, for your product? And if it is, will it just do it? Just do it, just start. There's not much to lose, but there's a lot to gain. A cool community, a great product, and a lot of fun. So there you have it. For those of you who are thinking of launching their own startup, it has never been a better time than now. And remember, you can always get a little bit of help from virtual twin technology.